Fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no. But here in our little village of Anadepka, you might say that every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a simple, pleasant tune <laughs> without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anadepka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in one word. Tradition! Rabbi, Rabbi, 
may I ask you a question? Certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? Blessing for the Tsar? Of course! May God bless and keep the Tsar! What you were doing. 
other children. <laughs> Mom, he's a nothing. Uh, yes, I understand. Children. children. They are like a blessing in your age. But my Aaron, he couldn't give me children. Believe me, he wasn't good at all. He never raised him this to me. The Lord of that, he was not much of a man. So what good is it if he never raises his voice? But I'm not complaining. Other women enjoy complaining, but not Gita. Not every woman in the world is a Gita. Well, Golda, I must go prepare my poor seventh table. But, but Gita, you said you had news for me.
good for the Sabbath. That wasn't nice. <laughs> it's enough you pick on me, have you? Bless me with five daughters, a life of poverty. <laughs> what have you got against my horse? <laughs> Sometimes I think when things get a little slow up there, you say to yourself, let's see what kind of mischief I can play in my friend Tevye. Yeah. <laughs> ah, finally here, my breadwinner. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Where's your horse? He was invited to the blacksmith for the Sabbath. Oh, well, hurry up. The sun won't wait for you. And I have something to tell you. As the good book says, heal us, O Lord. And we shall be healed. In other words, send us the cure. We've got this sickness already. <laughs> I'm not really complaining. After all, with your help, I'm starving to death. Dear God, you made many, many poor people. Of course, I realize it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. What would have been so terrible if I had had a small Sit in the synagogue and pray. And 
Girls should learn too. Girls are people. All right, it goes. I would be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. What great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our time. I am a poor man, but food for lessons? Good, good, good. You'll stay the Sabbath with us. <laughs> we don't eat like kings, but we don't starve either. As the good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. <laughs> Where does the book say that? All right, maybe it doesn't exactly say that, but someplace it has something about a chicken. Good Sabbath. <laughs>
wedding, Mary, leading the dancing and so forth. Poor little thing. Well, a wedding wouldn't be a wedding without you, Rev Orca. And your little bees. Good evening, Inkiba. Good evening, Constable. I would like a drink. Sit down, Vodka? Vodka? Schnapps? Vodka. Right away. Captain, what are you doing here so early? He wants to buy my new milking cow. Uh, good evening, Rev Laser. There we are. Thank you for coming. Sit, 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 sit. Have a drink? I won't insult you by saying no. So how goes it with you, Tevia? How should it go? You're right. And you? The same. I'm sorry to hear it. <laughs> Tevia, how's your brother-in-law in America? I believe he's doing very well. He wrote you. Not lately. But how do you know? <laughs> if you were doing badly, he was right. May I? <laughs> please, please. So, Rev Tevia, I suppose you know why I wanted to see you. Yes, I do, Rev Laser, and there's no point in discussing it. Why not? Why, yes, why should I get rid of her? Well, you'll have a few more without her. Oh, I see. Today you want one, tomorrow you may want two. Two? <laughs> what would I do with two? The same as you do with one. <laughs> this is very important to me. Rev. Laser, why is it so important? Frankly, because I'm lonesome. <laughs> lonesome? Rev. Laser, what are you talking about? Olivia, you don't know. Of course I know. We're talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. Your milk cow. So I won't be lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> To you. No, no, my friend. To you. To the birth of us. To 
through our agreement. Through our agree agreement. To our good health and happiness, to our prosperity, and most important, to life, to life, like I am. Like I am, like I am, to life. This to the mother I tried to be. Here's to my bride to be. Drink the kyle, to life, to life, like I am. Like I am, like I am, to life. Life has a way of. Blessing us, and bruising us, strength like I am to life. God's word like is to be joyful, even when our hearts lie panting on the floor. How much more can we be joyful when there's really something to be joyful for? To us and our good fortune. Besides all my daughter, my wife, it gives you something to think about, something to drink about.
so. Although, I don't think the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. Neither, I suppose, was the rabbi's son. My little sisters had big tongues. <laughs> and what do you know about him? Well, besides that he is the rabbi's son. Would you be interested in him if he were the tinsmith's son or the shoemaker's son? At least I know this. He does not have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Certainly any new idea would be strange to you. Remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he wasn't talking to you specifically. Good day, sir. <laughs> you have spirit. Perhaps a little intelligence, even? Thank you. But what good is your brain? Without curiosity, it is a rusty tool. Good day, Harlow. We have an old custom here. A boy is to act respectfully to a girl, but of course it is too traditional for an advanced thinker like yourself. Oh, our traditions. Everything is perfect, exactly the way it is. Nothing must ever change. We like our ways. Our ways are changing all over but here. Here, men and women must keep apart. Men study, women in the kitchen. Boys and girls should not touch each other, should not even look at each other. I'm looking at you. Did you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate with one another without the permission of a matchmaker? They can hold hands together, even dance together. New dances like this one.
Ain't you happy with this good news? Tailor. On 
the other hand, he's an honest, hard worker. On the other hand, he is absolutely nothing. <laughs> on the other hand, yeah. things could never get worse for him. They could only get better. <laughs> they gave each other a flesh. Unheard of, absurd. They gave each other a pledge, unthinkable. But look at my father's face. She loves him. She wants him. And look at my father's eyes. So
tell you. Only don't be frightened. Tell me. Okay. I dreamed we were having a, some sort of celebration. And all our friends and everyone we knew was there. And musicians, too. In the middle of the dream, in walks your grandmother Saito. Who is she dressed in peace? Grandmother Saito? How did she look? For a woman who was dead 30 years, she looked very good. Naturally, I walked up to her and greeted her. She said to me,
Sorry about that. They mean no harm. Don't they? Is there something you want? Yes. I'd love to talk to you. I'd rather not. I've often noticed you are a bookseller. Not many girls in this village like to read. Would you like to read this one? It's very good. No. Thank you. Why? Because I'm not Jewish? Do you think about us? The way they think about you? I didn't think you would. What do you know about me? Let me tell you about myself. I'm a pleasant fellow. Charming, honest, ambitious, quite bright, and <laughs> very modest. I don't think we should be talking this way. I often don't think I shouldn't. Go ahead. Take the book. By hand in a child. Happens to be Jewish, I believe. Good. But to return it, I'll ask you how you like it. And we can talk about it for a while. And then we can talk about life, how we feel about things. And it can all turn out quite pleasant. Oh, thank you. Um, is there something I can help you with? Uh, no. Thank you. Oh, you forgot your book. Oh, no. Well, that's mine. Good day, Hava. Good day. Fierke. Good day, Fierke.
May they live together in peace to a ripe old age. Amen. Amen. On our beloved rabbi, may he be with us for many, many years. Amen. Amen. Now, I would like to announce the bride's parents are giving them the following a new feather bed, a pair of pillows, goose pillows, goose pillows, goose pillows, and this fine pair of candlesticks. Now, in our joy tonight, let us not forget our dearly, dearly departed who lived in pain. She's dancing with a man! I can see she's dancing! 
bad time for you. Sorry. But you earned this worth for tonight. But the whole village! All right, go on, play! Play! Oh, <laughs> What are you all doing standing around? Lena. Not too much trouble. Could you take a second away from the catastrophes to get model sewing machine? And while you're in the neighborhood, my horse is let. Uh, am I bothering you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> As the good book says. <laughs> Why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> Huddle. 
very happy. So am I. Oh. What's that? I used to tell myself that I had everything, but that was only half true. I had an aim in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. I have something that I would die for, someone that I can live for too. Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more besides having everything. I know what everything's for. I used to wonder, could there be a wife to share such a difficult, wandering kind of life?
other hand, they decided without permission of a father or without a matchmaker. On the other hand, did Adam and Eve have a matchmaker? <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> and it seems these two have the same matchmaker. They're going over my head, unheard of, absurd. For this they want to be blessed, unthinkable. I lock her up in a room. I could, I should. Look at my father's eyes. She loves me.
suppose I love you too. It doesn't change a thing.
were both suppressed. You give my regards to this Moses of yours. I, I always thought he was a good man. You tell him that I rely on his honor to speak my thoughts about. You tell him that. Papa. 
Of course, all God's creatures have a name. Papa, Fietka's not a creature. Fietka is a man. Who says that he is? It's just that he's a different kind of man. As the good book says, each shall seek his own, which means a bird may love a fish. Where would they build a home together? The world is changing, no. Papa. not change for us. Some things will never change for us. But we don't feel that way. We? Pietka and I. Oh, Papa, we want to be married. Married? Are you out of your mind? Don't you know what this means, marrying outside of the faith? Papa. No, Papa. Yet never mention his name again. Never see him again. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. Good. I understand you. Okay. We're finally here. It's getting late. Let's go home for supper. I want to see Model's new machine. You can see it later. It's late. Quiet, woman, before I get angry. Because when I get angry, even flies don't dare to. I'm the man of the house, I'm the head of the family, and I want to see Model's new machine now! <laughs> now we can go! other children at home. You have work to do. I have work to do. Go home. Cub is dead to us. We will forget her. Go What 
Accept them? How can I accept them? Can I deny everything I believe in? On the other hand, can I deny my own daughter? On the other hand, how can I turn my back on my face, on my people? If I try to bend that far, I'll break. On the other hand, there is no other hand. No, no. Also, 
David, how long do you need to sell your house and all your household goods? Sell? Why should I sell my house? Is it in somebody's way? I came here to tell you that you are going to have to leave on death count. And how did I come to deserve such an honor? Not just you, of course, but all of you! First, I thought you might be spared, Debbie, because of your daughter, Hava. My Debbie. daughter is dead. I understand. At any rate, it affects all of you. You have to leave. But this corner of the world has always been our home. Why should we leave? I don't know why there's trouble in the world. Troublemakers! Like us. You aren't the only ones. Your people must leave all the villages. Solodin, Ravalevka, the whole district must be empty. I have orders. And they say you must sell your homes and be out of here in three days. Three days? And you, who have known us your whole life, you would carry out such an order. I have nothing to do with it. Don't you understand? We understand. What if we refuse to leave? You will be forced out. We will defend ourselves. Stay in our homes. We will fight against our army. I wouldn't advise it. I have some advice for you. Get off my land. This is still my home, my land. Get off my land. Three days. Three days. This can't be. This is absolutely true. After a lifetime, a slip of paper, and get the out. Maybe we should get together with the people from Zolode. Maybe they have a plan. You're right. We can defend ourselves. Yes. An eye for an eye. Yes. A tooth for a tooth. Yes. Good. Then the whole world will be blind and toothless. <laughs> Rabbi, we've been waiting for the Messiah all our lives. Wouldn't now be a good time for him to come? We'll have to wait for him someplace else. Meanwhile, let's stop packing. I have more than a hundred bottles of vodka. What do I do with them? I have a wife, her mother, and three children. Well, doesn't Tanya have us exactly be in the garden?
children. Help me tack the rest of the clothes. leaving this place. We're going to Krakow. We cannot stay among people who can do such things to others. We wanted you to know that. you in America if you like. We'll be 
staying with Uncle Lebron. Yes, Mama. everything. 